So this question says, in the linear function g, g of negative 2 equals 3 fourths, and g of 3 equals 9 halves, which equation defines g? All right, so we are very literally going to use a strategy called plug in information from the question, PIQ. Right, the information provided here is that when x, or let's write it this way, since g of negative 2 equals 3 fourths, that means that when x equals negative 2, g of x equals 3 fourths. And we're also told that g of 3 equals 9 halves, which means when x equals 3, g of x is equal to 9 halves. So I can take this information and start plugging it into answer choices until I find the one answer choice, in which case both of these things are true. So I'm going to use a different color now. Let's go to green. So what happens when x is negative 2 for choice A? That means this x here will become a negative 2, and I'd have to multiply 3 fourths times negative 2, which this becomes negative 1, this becomes 2, so it becomes negative 3 over 2 plus 9 fourths. In order to add those fractions, I need a common denominator, which would turn this into negative 6 fourths, right? Just multiply top and bottom by 2 to get a 4 on bottom. Negative 6 fourths plus 3 9 fourths is, in fact, 3 fourths. That is true, so that's good. So maybe choice A is the right answer. But before I can definitely say A is the right answer, I also want to see, well, what happens when I plug in 3 for my x? So I'm going to erase all this and see, well, what happens when I put 3 in for x? So when I put a 3 here, I get 9 fourths plus 9 fourths, which is 18 fourths. And that is, in fact, 9 halves. So both of these situations were correct. When I plugged in 3, I got 9 halves. When I plugged in negative 2, I got 3 fourths. So choice A is the right answer. No need for me to try anything else. Uh, nothing else should work um, in the way that this has. So that's it. Choice A is the correct answer.